when I think about Texas, I think about cowboys and cowboy boots. I think about longhorn bulls and rodeo. Uh, I think about Willie Nelson, my favorite George Strait songs. I think about Red Dirt and the Alamo. I don't think about mountains. And the second I laid eyes on the Chinatis, I thought, wow, this is truly God's country. This is Texas. We're here in the Chinati Mountains. I phoned my good friend Greg Brownlee and said, hey, Greg, we want to go on a sheep hunt. We want to do it in Texas. I've heard there's sheep down there. And he said, man, you got to go hunt all dad with Logan Lewis. People are always surprised. They always say, I can't believe we're in Texas. And I say, this is my Texas. Welcome to West Texas. I'm Logan Lewis. I'm 28 years old. I'm from far west Texas, and I'm a sheep guide. This particular hunt is an incredible experience because it's I've got family. My dad grew up in, in the panhandle of Texas, and so my brother and I have spent a, a, a good amount of time growing up hunting, hunting pheasants in the panhandle of Texas, but I never imagined that I'd come back and hunt sheep. And we're sitting here on the border of Mexico. We're looking into Mexico, and we're hunting in Texas. When you ask anybody out here where, about the Audad and where they came from, you're going to get a different answer just about every time. A story that I know is that they were brought in by a cattleman back in the 40s and released into the mountains and they just took off like they were made for this country. The Audad are perfectly adapted to this environment. When you start climbing around out here and observing these animals, you spend, you spend your time just watching them exist and, and when you, when you travel through this country, you, you gain such a respect for these, these sheep, knowing how r tough it is out here. And, and you, I mean, how can you not admire an animal that can, can make it in this country? When people ask you, what, are the, what do you love about sheep hunting? It's the physicality. It's the, you know, the, the steeps. I mean, you always, sheep hunting, you always learn something about yourself. You've got to be not only physically tough, but you've got to be mentally tough. Sometimes the, you know, the last place that, that you want to be is exactly where you're at, but you've got to push through it and you just got to be, you got to focus on the task and you got to keep moving uphill or you got to keep moving downhill. When you go up on a mountain after sheep, you can't be thinking about anything else. And I think that's my favorite part. If you think about anything else, you're going to mess up. So on this hunt, uh, Logan had, had spotted a couple old rams um, that he, he knew were old because they were, they were loners and they were in an area where there wasn't a whole lot of other sheep around. They basically had, had gotten away from the ewes to go be off on their own. Uh, Logan had put the sheep to bed uh, a couple nights before we got into camp. Actually, the rams had moved over to the back side of the mountain from where he originally saw them. And so we were several miles away, glassing them across the valley. This mace out here with that shadow leaf down in the back. Pulls off over there. They're in that brush there. We've got two rams down here in the, in the valley. That Logan spotted, and uh, he thinks he's seen these rams. He put them to bed uh, two days ago, and they both look from, from here. Look, we like what we see, so the road we can take the road back down and get significantly closer uh, before we make the track to get in and have another look. So we think they'll be in the same spot, and they're kind of easing this way a little bit now. So we'll get down there and take a look. I think the sheep are just over the top of this, from what we could see from that other side. Okay.
we know there's two rams in here, so this guy's definitely a shooter here, but we know that other rams in here, so we want to get a look, so now it's going to be a bit of a waiting game, cat and mouse. Uh, we knew there was two, so we wanted to get a look at the other one. He came back across, and that's when we decided, and we got a look at him and said, hey, this, this ram that's bedded here in front of us, that he had no idea that we were above him, is actually the ram that we wanted to take. So we got set up, we had plenty of time. The ram finally stood up about two hours later. Got this ram down here, he's definitely the ram we want to shoot. Big old ram, heavy bases. We got to look at the other one, he's not near as big, so we're going to send one down there at this guy. He's turned, hold on. I think he's done. <laughs> we got a nice ram down. Woo wee! Heck yeah, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. How cool is that? What a warrior. Holy cow. Wonderful innings of the day. Great, old, mature, Audad Ram here. 12, 12 and a half year old male. Great sheep to take out here in West Texas. It's been an incredible hunt. Thanks to Logan Lewis at Cliff and Cactus Outfitters. It's been an incredible, incredible hunt. Beautiful mountains. Definitely be coming back out here to chase these guys. You know, Logan does an incredible job down here of shooting old rams. We wanted a big old warrior, the, the sheep. He, he's, he's way past his prime. These sheep in this range are gonna live between 12 and 13 years old and they're gonna die of old age or from a predator because they, you know, they can't continue to get around. And so our ram, we estimated him at about 12 and a half years old. So perfect sheep to take out. You know, hunter's dollars came in we were able to take an old warrior that's past his prime. It was a successful hunt. Couldn't be happier. If you're not from here, you look around and think, how could anything survive out here? But if you look a little bit closer, you'd learn that this part of Texas has the largest biodiversity of anywhere in the U.S. More bird species, plant life. We've got black bear, mountain lions, bobcats, elk, mule deer, bighorn sheep, ringtails, and of course we've got all dad. Growing up as a kid, I read magazines all the time about different types of hunting, whether it be whitetail, elk hunting, mule deer hunting, sheep hunting, and there was one that always stood out to me, which was a, which was a sheep hunt. My favorite part about going after these sheep is that it's going to be different every time. What started out as us just glassing some, some beautiful sheep and Logan seemed very, very excited about one ram in particular. Turned into a, a good stock. This, this terrain out here is just, just very unforgiving and just very treacherous. And it's just something that, that I've never experienced being a, a traditional whitetail hunter. Above them, I'm just making sure that they hadn't Circle whipped up. around and yeah. come up this next hill. Yeah. We need to approach with caution here. 
when I'm hunting, I feel like I'm living it. I'm not watching it. So starting out, watching Ryan and Logan out on this huge ledge and bluff, um, glassing these sheep, I would have never thought that shortly thereafter I was gonna be holding the rifle on that very point. shot. Hey, his horn sitting there looks huge. It's a good sheep. Take that baby all the way back to Mock and saw him. Uh, yeah. Punched him. First sheep hunt. First, sheep. First successful <laughs> sheep hunt. All of the above. Golly. Out here again today, going to check out uh, Macho Peak, and uh, Logan spotted a group of four or five great rams. Um, went ahead and, and slipped the pack on, hiked on in, came up over the top, and uh, started glassing. Um, they worked their way into about 100 yards, and. Uh, Ryan handed me the rifle and um, was able to make a make a good good clean solid shot. Surprise of a lifetime and uh, a, a moment I'll never forget. It's just one of those trips that you dream about. Um, I was blessed enough to get to go not only with my brother to get to experience that with him. <laughs> yeah, just take your time. Find the truck. Being out here in West Texas has just provided another unique experience to get to meet another great group of guys from riding around in the, in the trucks through the mountains to just sitting around the campfire and, and sharing stories of old hunting trips. This is what hunting is all about.